Um, I have a question. I have a friend, uh, Shabi Khan, and I've known him for nine months, and he tells me that in Islam, uh, hell is not eternal, that Allah just beats you up for a while until you, you repent or are forgiven. Well, the majority of the Muslim scholars believe that hell and paradise are eternal. But maybe not everybody will stay in hell forever. And not everybody will stay. But everybody who goes to paradise, he can stay there forever. He had given me the impression it was a temporary situation. That you just had to go through some beatings with Allah. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, those who have the right creed, they may be punished for some of their sins or forgiven completely. We don't know. Because if we know from now, then that's not a true test. But this is a true test. So you don't know what will happen later on. But one of the names of Allah is the forgiving and the merciful. But he also is the punisher. He can punish. So he's all just. He is all just, of course. Thank you. But he will not only treat us with justice, he will treat us with mercy. If he treated us with justice, we will fail, all of us. Because uh, it is narrated that a person on the day of judgment came to Allah and he was a worshiper who used to worship always. And then, and then he uh, asked Allah, Allah told the angels, take him to paradise with my mercy. He said, no Allah, treat me with your justice. I did a lot of good things in my life. I used to worship you. Then Allah said, okay, put only the blessing of his sight in one hand and put all his deeds in the other uh, uh, part of the scale, the other side of the scale, and then all his deeds went away. Just the sight is a blessing that nothing can pay for it. So we hope that he will treat us with mercy, and he is the merciful. So you're saying he's compassionate. He is the compassionate, of course. <laughs>